All right, to the three viewers we have so far, we'll get started. Uh, we've got a small gathering here at the uh, Place des Festivals near Place des Arts. This is an anti capitalist uh, protest uh, coinciding with uh, Earth Day. So, what we have right now is a lot of police presence, very, very similar to the last night that I was streaming, uh, where uh, one might say that uh, the police presence might match or outnumber uh, the protesters, uh, but the police have made an announcement uh, that uh, a march will be tolerated as long as uh, people march uh, in the same direction as traffic. So. Um, that is different from the announcement that we had uh, the other evening where they specifically said they wanted people to stay on the sidewalk because of limited numbers. Uh, that's not the announcement we got today. Uh, the information given out is that um, a peaceful protest will be tolerated and they've uh, just put out another announcement saying that they uh, suggest that uh, protesters go on St. Catherine Street uh, in the uh, eastern direction. So we'll see if, uh, if this march gets underway uh, anytime soon. I think we've got uh, a little bit of time before this march gets started, so if anybody has any uh, questions, comments, something they'd like to say, I'm looking at the chat, as always, so uh, go ahead and put your kind words in there. So right now, nobody really making any moves. We do have a police presence, riot police and uh, police in high, uh, high visibility jackets, but... Uh, Nobody's really made a move. We did have some police officers walking amongst the uh, protesters earlier. And now it seems that the march is underway. So let's follow. As always, check out uh, the link newspaper.ca for more coverage. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Madame Ol. So we've got, uh, I'd say, somewhere around 75, between 75 and 100 protesters here today. Some of the uh, big media outlets uh, were here, filmed a little bit, took some pictures. I don't know how long uh, or uh, to what degree they'll be covering this march, because uh, it is uh, a little bit smaller than uh, what we've seen in recent weeks, but uh, they're still on site, RDI and uh, TVA. We've got the uh, announcement uh, truck following. I'd like to make sure that the audio is working, so if somebody would be uh, so kind as to just give me confirmation in the chat, it would be appreciated. So we do have a blockade here for the rest of Jean Mans. Riot police uh, forming a barricade. We've got more police uh, on this end of St. Catherine. So, uh, so far protesters are taking the uh, suggested route. Jimby1227, thank you for confirmation. Rob, tomorrow, nice to see you again. Welcome. So we were, uh, some of uh, myself and some other journalists were uh, speculating before that maybe the uh, 
the unkind weather conditions had an impact on the, the turnout. Uh, right now we've got a very light drizzle, but it is, uh, it is chilly out, so maybe we uh, would have had a better turnout if uh, the weather was more inviting. Also, there's a hockey game tonight. So there's that. So in terms of the uh, police presence uh, this evening, uh, this is a little bit more in keeping with uh, the kind of tactics that you would see employed uh, with a larger protest. So we do have some riot police on the sidewalk flanking the march on the left and the right. That's, uh, that's definitely something that I would expect a little bit more uh, if the numbers were in the higher hundreds or maybe in the thousands. Uh, but they seem to be uh, applying that this evening, which is something, uh, something new for me anyways. It's a small group, but an enthusiastic one. Pretty sure we've got two drummers out here this evening. We've got uh, some police vehicles following. Uh, a couple of buses that might be uh, carrying more riot police officers uh, if the SPVM uh, sees it fit to deploy more. For those of you just joining us, I'll give you a quick recap of the um, the start of this protest. There was an announcement being made that um, the, the march would be tolerated as long as it remained peaceful and no uh, illegal activity was carried out, no infractions. Um, asking that uh, people walk in the direction of traffic. Um, so yeah, so far it's being tolerated, no, uh, no announcements for the uh, P6 bylaw. So the uh, the march so far is moving along at a, a pretty brisk uh, brisk pace. Uh, maybe a little bit quicker than it would be if it was a larger group. So uh, riot police seem to be running ahead, trying to to mobilize and uh, stay with the group. truck around before. Uh, I think he might be uh, some kind of a hockey fan or something.
police officers on bikes uh, zooming by quite quickly there. You always have to try and stay aware of uh, people moving in behind you. So police, uh, riot police still mobilizing and trying to block off access to uh, intersections that would take the crowd off of St. Catherine. Uh, I've got a feeling that we're moving towards uh, Place Emilie Gamelin and uh, the entrances to uh, Barry Utah Metro. So I don't know if they're going to try to end it that quickly by trying to uh, slowly move people into the, the metro system, but uh, that might be a possibility this evening. some people as we walk by the uh, UCAM campuses. building at UCAM, which was occupied uh, a couple of weeks ago by protesters. Some security uh, at the entrance, but nothing serious. keeping people on St. Catherine. Coming up to St. Catherine and Barrie. So we do have a larger police presence here on the corner of Barrie and St. Catherine. Uh, there's a police bus here that seems to have deployed some more uh, riot police officers. 
and get ahead here and see what uh, direction the march takes. We've got a protester yelling in the direction of riot police saying, uh, you're one of us, you're Quebecers too, uh, you're having your pension stolen. <laughs> So the protesting seems to be continuing down St. Catherine for now. We've got a larger blockade here on uh, saint Sebastian and St. Catherine. It seems they're wanting people to take a left onto saint Sebastian, And that'll most likely be the direction that's taken. Whenever we have some of these smaller protests, uh, police are very deliberate in, uh, in directing the flow of the protest. Police vehicles are uh, coming to meet up with the protest as it takes a left now in Saint Sabah. That's sort of been my uh, my observation recently is that um, when at the outset of the march the police are uh, are very adamant about uh, allowing a peaceful protest, you can usually set your clock to them uh, uh, setting up blockades and and really trying to direct the flow of the march. Coming up to saint Hubert de Maisonneuve. So we do have a student back there who uh, seems to be giving the, the same spiel to uh, the different police blockades that he comes across, and, uh, very much expressing the sentiment that uh, the police should be on the side of the protesters, uh, his argument being that uh, students are having their uh, education stolen, police are having their pensions stolen, that uh, there should be solidarity between the two camps.
So we do have another uh, large blockade here on the intersection of Barry and Demesonev. So I heard a comment before, somebody making the point that uh, people were probably going to be herded uh, around Place M. Gamelin, which is uh, very much what's happening right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, police move in relatively soon. You must feel like assholes. Yeah, so basically any intersection that would uh, stop this uh, this march going around in circles around uh, Place Emile Gamelin are, are in place. So we've got blockades on uh, saint Hubert and saint Catherine, Barry and saint Catherine, Barry and de Maisonneuve, and Barry and saint Hubert. So that's... Uh, No kettle, but uh, people are boxed in. Yeah, what's up? We're taking bets on how many circles we think they'll do before everybody <laughs> gets angry. So if anybody wants to put in a, an estimate about how many circles are done around Place Emily Gamelin Park. I'll play the final score of the hockey game. So it's going to match up to the race. Okay. So three nothing. Like okay. Three is the number. <laughs> so numbers have thinned a little bit, uh, not by much, but we do see uh, slightly fewer protesters. One thing, though, for these smaller protests is that um, you sort of recognize some people who come and uh, to these smaller ones, and you sort of see the dedication that uh, even though there's not large numbers, they they still come out and they're still passionate. So this is. Uh, so we've got people going into the metro system right now. That's interesting because the police have not uh, have not directed people into the metro, but uh, perhaps the uh, the march is ending of its own accord, or maybe uh, protesters are going to the metro to to relocate. So again, no, no police movement. They didn't, uh, they didn't move in slowly and uh, try to direct people into the the metro entrance as we've seen before. I'll, uh, I'll follow them. We'll see how long the stream holds up. There's supposed to be uh, an internet connection down here, so we'll, uh, we'll see how long this holds up. If it doesn't hold up, thanks for watching.
So again, just to specify, uh, protesters were not directed into the metro system. They went in of their own accord. And they've now entered the uh, UCAM building through one of the, uh, the metro entrances. Uh, this is not specifically a student protest, but there's certainly, uh, one would imagine, a large student contingent here. We do have some, uh, some pictures up here at UCAM in solidarity for uh, missing and murdered uh, young people, I believe, in, uh, in Mexico. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong about that, but I think that's the case. So protesters are uh, slowing down a little bit. Not sure which direction it's going to take at this point. But we'll stick with it. Not sure if this is going to be the stopping point. We do have some uh, light security presence. Don't know if they were anticipating this. I certainly wasn't. Yeah, Middleman 514, we are uh, inside your cam. I thought maybe the, the march was going on to the, the subway system to maybe relocate uh, in a small pack. But no, uh, we, took a, we took a left just before the turnstiles and entered your cam. I'd say about uh, a little over 50 protesters at this point. So far, uh, peaceful, loud and spirited, but peaceful. We haven't had any altercations between uh, police or protesters or uh, the security inside the UCAM building. Some students uh, walking around here, and the, uh, the protest group is, uh, is sticking together. We do have a, a couple of individuals who put uh, some face masks on to cover their faces, so maybe uh, the dynamic changes a little bit once uh, you go inside the building. People seem to be uh, taking a little bit of a breather, some people sitting down, some discussions are being had. Uh, yeah, I have no idea if the, if the march is going to recommence once people uh, gather up their strength a little bit. So uh, we got a comment here that uh, there's a mention on uh, Twitter that the Manifant Court is dead. <clears throat> Maybe the one that was outside, but I'd say that roughly the same amount of people who were out there are now here. Uh, and if there was a, a group that stayed outside, it must be very, very small, because I think the, the large majority of the, the marchers came inside. We've got three drummers, correction. I said we had two before, but we actually have three. Fun fact, on their recent live tour, King Crimson had three drummers, which sounds like a, a gimmick, but uh, I heard the end result and it wasn't bad. There's your uh, Matt Music Minute.
So we're outside right now, the uh, Association Étudiante Facultaire. Uh, there were some people uh, outside the office a moment ago, but uh, some people have left. Yeah, so at this point, uh, there isn't a large security presence uh, from UCAM. Uh, people are uh, people are walking around, going to and from classes, uh, presumably. So there isn't. Uh, I wouldn't say this is anything like a disruption of, uh, of UCAM. I'll, uh, some people saying that this might be over, so I'll stick with it until uh, until that that seems to be the the case, and I can confirm that. And in the meantime, if anybody has anything to say, go ahead. I'm looking at the chat. Be happy to interact and answer any uh, questions you might have about uh, the situation. A lot of people today were asking me, um, uh, not in the chat, but uh, just uh, walking around, if uh, we were going to go take a look at uh, the uh, occupation at uh, Cégep Saint Laurent. Uh, and uh, I'm certainly going to be heading down there at some point uh, just to have a look around and uh, see if I can talk to anybody. It's uh, it's a very interesting development uh, that admittedly is not uh, organized and, and by design. Uh, there's not really a a uh, power structure there uh, as far as the some of the students who were involved have said. They do have a sort of uh, tacit agreement with the uh, the administration at Cégep Saint Laurent to, uh, to just stay there as long as there's no trouble. Uh, they've apparently put in some policies that there's no drinking or uh, drug use or anything like that on the, the grounds, just, uh, just in front of the buildings. So yeah, definitely going to have a look uh, down there at some point and see what's uh, what's going on. So numbers are uh, thinning lightly. Some people uh, walking off into uh, different corridors of the UCAM building. So yeah, this looks like the end of it. Another uh, another odd one. That's the the one constant when you uh, you have a smaller protest like this is that you have no idea what's going to happen, whether police are going to be uh, hands on or hang back, uh, whether they're going to let the the protest determine its own direction or whether they're going to blockade intersections trying to uh, direct people in the direction they want or uh, the curveball today of uh, the protesters going into the metro system themselves and then um, coming into UCAM. What do we think, we're done? Yeah? Uh, I'm not asking hockey related, who's gonna win tonight, Habs or Sens? I don't know if... Uh, <laughs> If history taught us anything, it'll be the Montreal Canadiens. I saw a cute little tweet from a mainstream outlet today saying uh, maybe Montreal fans should get their brooms out because it might be a sweep. <laughs> Not bad, right? Somebody, somebody thought of that. Somebody, somebody thought of that and said, I'm going to share that with the world. That hot gem. <laughs> yeah, no idea. <laughs> That's how bored we are here right now. Yep, yeah. yep, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, I think we might be done here. Oh, Millman514 says the Senators are going to win tonight. No. Nope. He just wants a free box office ticket. That's all he wants. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you are going to be uh, attending the game or you're already there, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do this little public servant, uh, service announcement uh, in the future for Bell Center games. A lot of stories recently about uh, some Canadians fans being hostile, to say the least, at the Senators fans. That's messed up. Don't do that. That's not okay. There. That's your that's your now you know moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this evening. Uh, I got a haircut. Uh, this has been Manifak Cool Live. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll continue to be out here. Oh, my cover. Uh, we'll continue to be out here. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned to the link newspaper.ca, my Twitter account, at Thank you very much. Signing off.